The Michael Popak Legal AF, Alina Habba's bestie, Caitlin Sinclair, who's the chief spokesperson for the MAGA PAC and also, also for Turning Point, has been barred from a private club in New York because she has posted intolerant social media posts attacking gay community, the LGBTQ plus community. Specifically, she posted on Father's Day, and we'll put it up here on her Instagram, a her holding a sign that says basically, you're here because your dad's not queer. Well, that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. At Zero Bond, a private club in NoHo, which is frequented by the mayor, Mayor Adams here in New York. And Caitlin Sinclair is now on the woe is me circuit, saying that she's just, a, uh, I'm paraphrasing, a poor single girl in New York who lives by herself, who is just looking for refuge inside of the you know, millionaire and billionaire boys club and girls club of zero bond. And she's offended that they're offended with her position. Let's step back for a a minute. Donald Trump's, one of his leading communications people is posting anti-LGBTQ+, and it's completely endorsed implicitly or otherwise by people like Alina Habba and others in his circuit. So if you like your presidents and your presidential candidates, ones who are intolerant and hire and keep on idiot 29 year olds who like to attack the community in order to gain fame, I think she was actually trying to get uh, uh, fired from zero bond. And then I have to listen. So Trump's your candidate, by the way. But then I got to listen to her whining about being unfairly attacked, how and it's always the what about is what about all the other members who have personal opinions about israel or about um you know this issue or that issue what about them you know um i have tra- and i love this one i have trans and gay friends well you don't any longer based on that posting which has now gone viral for all for all the wrong reasons so let's tune in to her being interviewed by a conservative talk show host on a local New York station and listen to her whining ultimate snowflake about what's happened to her. Been um, expelled, if you will, from a very popular nightclub in New York, one that I have no desire to go to, never been, but especially now I don't. Caitlin, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Sid. Uh, I'm alive. You know, I'm I'm in this fight and we're going to stay in this fight. Wait, what happened now exactly? What uh, you were a member of? What, what is the name of that club you're a member of? Zero Bond said. Zero um, Bond, right? Yeah. That, isn't that the club that Mayor Adams goes to all the time? <laughs> Mayor Adams definitely frequents that club. He doesn't miss a party. We know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, I've got other friends who go there too. I think my same. See, I go for a men's dinner like once a month, and it's uh, me, Keith Kantrowitz, Anthony Carone. Uh, Mark Oranger, Mike Kemper, Governor David Patterson, and uh, we go to Casa Cipriani or ZZ, but I think uh, they go there also, uh, that, uh, that place. So how long have you well, been going? I'm going to need a new home after this. Uh, so. Well, I got, I got the place for you to go now. Don't worry, Caitlin. But how long have you been a member of uh, Zero Bond? Uh, so I pretty much started going to Zero Bond the, the day the doors opened. And because I made friends with everyone that works there, said because of the way I go out of my way to bond with people and, and make friends with the staff and the managers, uh, I did become a member last year. I, it's a, it's a pretty year. high fee yep. of $4,000. Uh, and I did that because of the nature of my work. So here's the deal. I, I'm a young, single female reporter. I've been a reporter for a conservative network for the past five years here in New York. It's a high visib- visibility job, and it demands me being on the streets of Manhattan, and it demands me putting my politics out there. And because of that, said, I've dealt with stalkers. I've had death threats. I've had things thrown at me. Uh, and so this membership to me was kind of my safe space to just go and unwind and socialize. And I never once took my politics. Many people are surprised to find out that I'm 57, almost 58, and that I'm a grandmother. 
That's why I love this product, One Skin. This is something I use on my face every single day and it makes me look younger. I think that's why people think that I'm younger than I actually am. It's super easy to use. You just use it with any of your other skincare products in your skincare routine. And uh, if you're like me, especially this time of year, you always wear sunscreen on your face and this product, uh, One Skin has a sunscreen that I use every single day to help protect my skin, but it also helps uh, it also helps nourish my skin and repair my skin with this OS1 that they have, this specially designed ingredient. So I love it. It also you use it on your on your neck area and it gives you lots of protection uh three different types in fact from their non nano zinc oxide their potent antioxidants and their OS1 peptide which is the ultimate defense against uv exposure collagen loss and cellular aging so i love i absolutely love um i love one skin and what really makes the OS1 incredible is it's not just a sunscreen, but it really is scientifically proved to switch off the aging cells that cause lines, wrinkles, and thinning skin. They also have a full body product with sunscreen that you can use. And so it can help also the rest of your body, not just your face. So I've been using this regimen for a while now, including the facial sunscreen, and I'm really hooked. Don't just take my word for it. It has over 8,000 five-star reviews, it was recently recognized by Fast Company as one of the most innovative brands of 2022, and my mother noticed. And if my mother notices, it must be true. She's actually said to me, what are you doing to your skin? It looks so good. So for a limited time, you'll get an exclusive 15% off your first One Skin purchase using the code LEGALAF when you check out at oneskin.co. Co. Try One Skin today to get this trifecta of protection for nourished, glowing skin. That's oneskin.co and put Legal AF in as a promo code when you check out. It's the world's first skin longevity company. So by focusing on the cellular aspects of aging, one skin keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. Get started today with 15% off using code legal AF at oneskin.co. That's 15% off oneskin.co with code legal AF. After your purchase, they ask you where you heard about this. Please support this show and tell them we sent you. All right. So that's Caitlin Sinclair. I wouldn't really care about say, Caitlin Sinclair, except to what it says about the person that employs her. The MAGA pack which is ultimately run by a combination of Alina Haba and Susie Wiles, who's the chief, chief pack whisperer for all things Donald Trump, has been forever. She's all wrapped up and embroiled in the Mar-a-Lago criminal investigation as well. <clears throat> you know, she's one of the uh, consigliere's for Donald Trump. They not only permit and tolerate this, you don't hear a peep out of Turning Point, which is another conservative right-wing Trump MAGA uh, entity, or the MAGA pack. They're not gonna fire Caitlin Sinclair. They're gonna celebrate her. Any other organization would say, well, she's violated our cultural values and policies, and therefore she has to go. To 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 in this world, this is this is a badge of honor. This is like when people want to get shot in their leg so they can increase their bona fides in the music world. She wanted to get fired from Zero Bond and have them terminate her and cancel it, cancel her $3,800 membership. She wanted to be able to go on these things to increase her profile, to show that she'll take one for the team and for Donald Trump. This Alina Haba, Melania Trump lookalike. That's all they are. They're, they're, they're just these mannequins that some factory generates somewhere and they throw them up. And when she's not here, she's on right-wing media. You know, she was like a correspondent for One America News Media. I mean, all ridiculousness. And so I wanted to bring it to your attention for what it says about the person who's running for the office of the presidency. And what it says about Alina Haba, when you see and hear Alina Haba think she employs Caitlin Sinclair. And if you want to punish Donald Trump and Alina Haba and Susie Wiles and those in his world, you make sure he never gets anywhere close to the White House ever again. And Caitlin Sinclair is just a symptom 
of this disease, this cultism around Donald Trump. They have license and permission because their boss is a misogynist who attacks women without repercussion, apparently, even though he's got to pay hundreds of millions of dollars for sexually assaulting women um, in these cases. And then he just whines about it. He's the ultimate snowflake. He's too old to be a snowflake. Always whining about the prosecutor and her relationships, the judge and conversations. Uh, everything's a, uh, the, the judge and his daughter. Everything is somebody else's fault. Nobody can have a life. All the judges and prosecutors and investigators have to live her hermetically sealed, hermited lives um, in order to be, you know, break a glass, have them come out and investigate and prosecute Donald Trump in his world. That's not how our criminal justice system works, nor is that how the world works or humanity. But Caitlin Sinclair, to listen to her whine at nauseum about being fired from her Tony exclusive club in New York is just beyond the pale. And then, you know, you go to Turning Point USA's Instagram, which is all uh, IG, which is all supported by Caitlin Sinclair. And you go on there and you see one of these. You know, just if you want it, if you had any doubts about what they stand for. You know, they post this. This is why hiring for diversity is so dangerous with 5,000 likes, you know, and there's pictured there Pete Buttigieg, apparently because he's a gay Rhodes Scholar, former war veteran who also runs our transportation department pretty darn well, including infrastructure related to transportation and Kamala Harris, because let me guess, because she's diverse in her background and you don't like the fact that she's vice president um, and our press secretary because she's also Jamaican American or Haitian American and also happens to be um, of the LGBTQ plus community. I, I, I really, you know, it, it's just appalling at the at the lows and the lengths that this party will sink to. There's no legitimate party that would have Caitlin Sinclair as their communications director for one of their packs. I mean, is that, I mean, is that, is that surprising? They all look like they came out of the Hope Hicks factory. You know, they all look like versions of Melania only because that gets Donald Trump's rocks off. Let's be frank. And then to hear her whine away. I mean, you heard the interview, but, li but listen to this. I mean, this is, this is more sort of more of the same. Um, she said they only want uh, in her whining. She said, you're going to ostracize me living alone in the city as a single girl? She said of her one time sanctuary uh, that was also frequented by uh, Taylor Swift, apparently. They're ostracizing me from my community. Community of what? Bigoted 29 year old airheads? I don't get it. I paid the money to go to a safe space. Oh, now I get it. Now zero bond is like a bomb shelter where you have to, where you can go hide out with all the other you know, I bank bros <laughs> that, you know, you're trying to, I don't know what with while you're there knocking back, you know, $30 martinis. And you want us to feel sorry for you. This is the party that is running for election to the presidency. And if you think you have a lot in common with Caitlin Sinclair, let me continue. She also said that everyone comes to New York to make their dreams come true. Oh, here we go. Now it's sex in the city. Now she's now, now she's Carrie from Sex in the City. I worked my ass off and it happens to be in conservative media and now I'm punished for it. This is bigger than me. It's bigger than Zero Bond. No, it's not. It's smaller than you. You're shrinking before our very eyes. She goes on to, she goes on to her whataboutism quotes in her interview. Why are other Zero Bond members allowed to attend, you know, pro one side or the other Israeli rallies? Drag Queen Story Hour. Now we're always back to that drag queen story hour. And that's the old boogeyman under the under the bed that the Republican MAGA like to pull out and celebrate when Trump gets convicted. But that doesn't uh, that doesn't go against zero bond policies Maybe because they're not posting it on social media. Maybe because they're not the spokesperson for Donald Trump. Maybe that's why. And they go, she goes on to say a lot of the members there hate Trump and stood in front of the courthouse. I doubt it. I was in front of the courthouse. I can assure you I didn't see any zero bond. I bank bros hanging out in that park behind the courthouse. But I digress. She continues. They're friends. They're huge liberals. We can have different views, but we can still be out and party together. Oh my God. 
I mean, I know I'm already through this hot take. And I'm glad I did it. But uh, you, we got to get rid of Donald Trump once and for all. I mean, politically. We got to get rid of Caitlyn Sinclair's of the world who are incompetent, who don't have resumes to support what they're doing, that are unprofessional and professionally immature, who are snowflakes, who whine about the fact that they can't make their $15,000 a month rent. Who's going to pay their $30 uh, martini or their $2,000 or $10,000 bottles and models bar tab at the club? While people are suffering, while LGBTQ plus community can't get a break in this society when they thought they could, when they don't have civil rights or equality in our society and they're discriminated against because it's it's they're, they're the butt of a joke or the butt of somebody trying to get ahead standing on their throat and neck. That is the other party. In case I was being obtuse. That is the other party. And I want to draw attention to it at the intersection of law and politics right here. And the fact that Alina Haba, a practicing lawyer in New York, is the head of the lawyers for that organization, allows Caitlin Bond, she'll probably be promoted based on this, let alone fired and terminated and separated, which she should be. So I'll continue to follow it right here on the Midas Touch Network on Legal AF, on Legal AF every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on this uh, Midas Touch Network. YouTube network and on every major podcast platform. So until my next hot take, until my next Legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Heary, heary, Legal AF Law Breakdown is now in session. Go beyond the headlines and get a deep dive into the important legal concepts you need to know and we discuss every day on Legal AF. Exclusive content you won't find anywhere else, all for the price of a couple of cups of coffee. Join us at patreon.com slash legal AF. That's patreon.com slash legal AF.